and see what's going on under here. Oh, are you kidding? Wow, are you kidding me? All right, so what you saw there was me unboxing the Acer P2020 watt laser. Now, I did not pay for this machine. Straight up, I was contacted by Acer, Etzer, Etezer, Atzer, I don't know how to say it. And they said, hey, we saw you had some CNC and laser videos. Would you be interested in reviewing our laser? Sure, I guess. But then they said the magic words. They said, we'll give you a free laser. Can't turn down free. And then they said, we'll even give you a commission if someone buys one. Huh. Affiliate. Sure. Why not? But I did tell them, if this thing sucks, everyone's going to know about it. And if this thing is awesome, everyone's going to know about it. Now let's get back to the unboxing. Now I have to tell you, I was very impressed with how this thing is boxed. It's boxed like someone who cares. Like a company who cares about their product. It is boxed tight in the styrofoam. All the instructions and directions are easy step by step. You don't need an engineering degree to put it together. So I'm not filming much of the assembly because, well, I have enough footage to make an assembly video down the road. So just a quick look at it. But it's easy to put together. No fear there. Before we do any samples of what this thing can cut and what it can do, I want to talk price. How much is this? Actually, right now on their website, it's running at $12.99. And that also includes an air assist. A lot of lasers, that's a separate accessory to add on. This one's included and it's integrated. Did see on Mother's Day, I think they had a coupon on there and it was like 900 bucks. So I mean, if you watch, you might be able to get coupon deals on it. But as far as desktop lasers go, that's a very competitive price. It's gonna put it right in there with like X, some of the X tools and some other ones that you can find out there. Very competitive. They all have their own different features. So I'll talk about these features. And as you know, I like to talk about business. I like to know if a laser is going to help a business grow. Does it give you a profit? Does it make sense to add it to your workflow in your shop? Let's talk about it. Let me show you a few samples of different things you can make that I made with this laser. I have the time it took, the settings I used, just so you can compare that to other options. I did notice some other review videos out there that, you know, they'll take a three quarter inch piece of wood and they cut it in half and then, you know, yeah, the everyday user probably isn't gonna use it for that. They're gonna use it in a home-based business, in a small business, so I'm gonna see if this can handle that. I got this just before Mother's Day and one thing I wanted to do was make custom earrings for my wife. Kind of what you can make, let's see if we can get a good picture of that. There's a little bit of what you can make with this. They're just some nice little dangly earrings. Pretty small, and it was able to cut through this. I didn't have any burn on top or anything when I did it. When I made the earrings, it was, let's go over some specs. I cut them out of 1 8 inch basswood. The speed I used was 550 millimeters a minute at 100% power, one pass. Air assist was on, and the time frame to cut this pair of earrings was a minute and 45 seconds. The second thing you can do is make some jigs and some templates. I made this template for when I make uh, little slate coasters. I can set them on here. I can cut nine at a time on the laser because I made this little jig. And if you're a woodworker, there's so many jigs you can make and cut out with this. Nice and simple. The third project, pencil boxes. Take a look at this bad boy. It's quarter inch. The speed, 300 millimeters a minute. The power was 90, one pass, and the time took seven minutes, 45 seconds. The fourth thing you can do with this, cut on acrylic. The ornament was 2.5 millimeters thick. I used a power of 500 millimeters a minute, 60% power, three passes. Took four minutes. I could definitely do it faster. I just needed to tweak it so it doesn't burn or melt. Cause I tried one, it kind of melted. So I did three passes on this one. I need to mess with it a little more, but I took the long road and four minutes to make that. The fifth thing I did, I made coasters. Slate coasters, just like this, that say home. These are money makers. To, to do nine of these on this machine, I did them at a speed of 
20,000 millimeters a minute. 20,000 millimeters a minute. Did them at a power of 100, and my time was 32 minutes and 20 seconds. All right, the sixth project I did was a little leather patch like this. The engraving was 4,000 millimeters a minute at 20% power. The cut, 300 millimeters a minute, 80% power. Took me seven minutes and 47 seconds. The seventh thing I did was engrave on some wood. To engrave that, it was 3,000 millimeters a minute at 20% power. And it took 52 minutes and 27 seconds. The eighth project, eight, number eight, stainless steel flask. The speed, 1,200 millimeters a minute. The power was 100% power. Uh, my engrave time, 15 minutes, 34 seconds. And the final, number nine product, engraving on ceramic tiles. Engraved it 700 millimeters a minute at 20% power. All of those nine products will definitely make a profit for you. This machine cut them all, engraved them all. Did a great job with it. Very impressed. Let's talk about the key features. Number one, it has a 20 watt diode laser. That's perfect. It's powerful enough to cut, powerful enough to engrave. Number two has to be the air assist. It comes with air assist and the hoses run through and they connect to the laser module. The air assist runs right through it. There's no zip ties, hair ties, rubber bands, nothing holding it together, no twisty ties. It's just built into the machine. Number three, when I looked this company up on their website and I saw that it said, oh, it's an aluminum frame, all I could think is like, oh man, it's gonna be cheap, tin can aluminum. No, this is thick, sturdy aluminum. Number four is the cutting area. This cuts 430 millimeters by 430 millimeters. I did the math before. It's like 19 inches by 19 inches. I don't remember, I'll put it right here, ready? There it is, that's how big it is. And there's also an extension that you can get for this. I didn't look into it too much. I know it's an option, so you could actually get more cutting area. Number five has to be the really easy to find emergency stop button. And it's big and it's red and you, yeah, it's perfect. Number six has to be the overall size. This is a desktop laser. If you had a three by three table, or a three by three piece of wood, you could easily put it on there. Uh, you might not have room for a laptop or anything, but you could definitely fit the machine and the air assist on a three by three table. So it's a nice, nice size. Number seven, this thing cooks 24,800 millimeters a minute. That's fast. Number eight, yeah, eight, number eight has to be this little built-in controller. But what I like about this is if you do some mini production, like if you're gonna make coasters over and over that say the same thing, you could take a little TIFF card, pop it in the TIFF card slot with your file on there, just leave it in there. Whenever you wanna make your coasters, turn on the machine, line it up center, wherever you need, and hit go. It's saved in there forever. You don't have to bring your laptop out, hook it up, find the file, load up light burn, make it run, put it. No, it just hit it and go. Great for production work. Creativity, no. Production, yes, love this. Now, we're moving on to Ryan's Pro List. Number one has to be the combo of the 20 watt diode laser and the 24,800 millimeters a minute. That combo together is great. It's fast and it's powerful. You can engrave and you can cut. This is perfect, love it. Number two is that built-in air assist I was talking about. I love it, I don't have to mess with, with it. It's built into the machine and it comes with it. The air assist, number two pro. Number three is what we talked about for a key feature is this solid framing. It is solid, it's gonna hold up. I have five kids. Sure, some of them are gonna use it. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna take a beating just from that. I work in a wood shop. It's gonna get bumped and hit. 
It has to be solid enough to take the little bit of beating here and there. This can do it. Like it. number four pro is the focus system with this. It is so easy. Number one, you drop the little metal bar. Number two, you loosen the little knob. Number three, you can drop the laser module down to the little metal piece hit your work piece. Number four, tighten the little knob. Number five, flip the metal bar up and you are focused. The focal system on this, fantastic, easy, simple. It's the way I like it. Number five goes back to the key feature that I like, which is this controller. I will use this. It will come in handy. I appreciate this little controller being on there. Fantastic. Now on to Ryan's cons list. My number one con with this machine or any machine I buy are these little rubber belts that run everything. There's a lot of reasons I don't like these things. They do send spare one in case yours breaks. Yeah. Rubber belts are my bane. Do not like them. If you don't like them, just know that it comes with rubber belts and you're going to have to deal with it. Number two con for this machine. It does not have a child safety lock on it. There's no lock for this. I have to unplug it and hide the cord so my kids don't come in here and mess around. They mess around, hit some buttons, start the controller, start the laser, start a fire, cut their finger off, blind themselves. I don't know. I need a child safety lock on my machine so I don't have to hide the cord. Number three con with this machine. It's not so much the machine as much as it is the app for this machine. Oh, maybe I don't know how to use it. Probably more the case, but I couldn't find a way to take a G code project load it into the app and send it to the machine. Now I could connect the app to the machine and I, you can draw and design some projects in the app, but you can't load projects into the app in G code and send them to the machine or I couldn't figure it out. And if I can't figure it out, then it's not user friendly. Now I know apps can be changed and updated. So maybe down the road, they'll have a better app but right now the app, don't buy it because it has an app, because you're not going to be happy with it. So yeah, app. So let's wrap this up quick. Being a small business owner, my concern is, will this machine effectively bring more profit or fit into my workflow and make things easier for me? It definitely has the speed. It definitely has the power to fit into my workflow as a small business. Uh, who's making small projects like coasters and cutouts out of wood. This has the speed and power to do that, no problem. So yes, it, it fits into my workflow. So let me put it this way. With the research I've done on different desktop lasers, this has to be one of the best options available. I am extremely impressed with this machine. I mean, literally, you could make a project on day one and start making profit with this. I would not hesitate to recommend this to anyone who has a small home-based business, a small business, or, or even a hobbyist that wants to make a few projects here and there. Yeah, I would recommend this machine. It's fantastic. Now listen, I'm not telling you to go out and buy this machine right now, but if you're looking for a desktop laser, I recommend this machine. And I'm not saying that so you click the link below and I get the commission, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. If this is the right machine for you, buy it. If it's not, don't buy it. But I'm gonna tell you, if it fits into your workflow and you do some of the things I was showing for samples, this will help your business make a profit. It is a good machine. Overall, I, I am extremely impressed with them. So if you do decide to buy one, I, I really do appreciate if you use the link because they said they'd pay me for it. So, hey, shoot. But if you don't think this is going to fit in your workflow, don't buy it. If you're a large production, you're looking to do large production, this probably isn't the machine for you. But like I said, the mini production, this would be, this would be great. You want to make a bunch of coasters, you want to sell some things on Facebook Marketplace, on Etsy, this is the, the machine for you, this type of machine, and this one will work great. All that being said, I love you guys, appreciate you. Watch one of these videos here and go be great.